Welcome to the pre-admission conference for nursing. I am Dr. Melissa Humphrey and I am the nursing program coordinator. The objectives for this presentation are to provide applicants with a program description, discuss program curriculum, and discuss the program admission requirements. Campuses for which we offer nursing at Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College include the Cumberland, Kentucky campus and the Middlesboro, Kentucky campus. Programs offered at each campus include the Academic Career Mobility Program, or the LPN, and the Associate Degree in Nursing, or the RN. We are accredited through the Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing, also known as ASIN, and we are approved through the Kentucky Board of Nursing. Current job placement rates for our graduates from Southeast Nursing Program include 90 to 100 percent have job placement following graduation. The median wage for a new registered nurse upon graduation is $60,000 to $70,000 per year. NCLEX pass rates for our campuses for the last few years. In 2019, the Cumberland campus had a 100% licensure pass rate and the Pineville campus had a 95%. In 2020, the Cumberland campus had an 84% and Pineville had 87. In 2021, Cumberland had a 62% and the Middlesboro campus had 82% and the national average is currently 80%. Programs that are offered at the Cumberland campus include the Academic Career Mobility Program or the LPN program with a spring admission each year. The Associate Degree Program, or the RN, with a fall admission of each year. And the LPN to RN Bridge Program with a spring admission each year. Programs offered at the Middlesboro campus include the Academic Career Mobility Program with a spring admission each year. The Associate Degree, or RN Program, with a fall admission day program and a spring admission evening program. The LPN to RN Bridge program with a spring admission to the day program and a fall admission to the evening program. Prerequisites that must be completed prior to beginning nursing courses include Math 141 or higher, and that can be any math course as long as it is 141 or higher. It's the student's choice. SOC 110, Biology 137, NAA 100, and CPR certification. The math class and Biology 137 must have a grade of a C or greater in order to be accepted into nursing. Co-requisites that the student is required to take once in nursing include Biology 139 with a C or greater, Biology 225 with a C or greater, English 101, and a Heritage or a Humanities. A pre or co -rec is also FYE 100 or 105. If students choose to do FYE 105 as a co -rec, we encourage students to take that with the first nursing course in the program. Nursing courses in the curriculum for the RN program, the very first semester there is one nursing course with nine credit hours and it is entitled NSG 101. The second semester, students will have NSG 212, or Behavioral or Mental Health, and NSG 219, Medical Surgical 1, for a combined total of 10 credit hours. The third semester, students will have NSG 211, Maternal Newborn Nursing, and NSG 229, Medical Surgical Nursing 2, for a combined total of 10 credit hours. The fourth and final semester, 
Students will take NSG 213 or Pediatric Nursing and NSG 239 or Medical Surgical Nursing 3 for a combined total of nine credit hours. If students are transitioning to the LPN to RN Bridge program, those students receive credit for NSG 101 and would transition in the second semester into NSG 212 and 219 and would have three semesters of courses, whereas a traditional student would have four semesters. For those enrolling in the Academic Career Mobility Program, there are two nursing courses that are required. The very first semester, there's a nine credit hour course entitled NRS 101. In the second semester, there is a 10 hour credit course entitled NRS 102. Now that I've given you an overview of the program, let's discuss the application process. Some of the criteria for applicants to be admitted into nursing include an ACT score of 20 or above, and there is no time limit on when the test was taken. An NLN PACS or NACE exam with a 50th percentile or higher score. The PACS exam is for traditional students and the NACE exam is for the LPN to RN students. You would only need to take one or the other um, for admission. We do not require the ACT and the PACS, so it's the applicant's choice. You must have a cumulative GPA of 2.5 or better to be admitted to the program, and then a maintenance GPA of 2.0 while enrolled in the program. All applicants are ranked on a point system rating based upon GPA, exam scores, and completion of general education hours. Students must be admitted to Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College. Students must also apply to the nursing program. Here is where you can apply to be a student at Southeast. So you will go to southeast.kctcs.edu and from this home page in the top right hand corner taskbar, you will see apply. You will click that and the application for Southeast Community and Technical College will populate for you to complete. From southeast.kctcs.edu, choosing Program Finder and Nursing, you will have this page appear. And if you see under Program Links, the second link is the online application for the nursing program. Once you click that link, you will have the application populate. Applicants are to choose from the drop down box which campus they would like to attend, either Cumberland or Middlesboro. When completing the application, only one campus can be chosen, and it is very important that applicants understand they should choose the campus that is most relative and logistic to their home address. Next is the program type. From the drop down arrow, you will find RN, LPN, and LPN to RN Bridge. Again, we encourage applicants to only apply for one program type. So you must decide whether you want to apply for the RN or the LPN program. Do not submit an application for each program type. Next, you must choose from the drop down arrow which semester you are applying for. Are you applying for a spring beginning nursing program or are you applying for a fall beginning nursing program? If you are a student who is applying for readmission, from the drop down box you will simply choose yes or no. If you have chosen yes because you are a readmit to the nursing program, then the application will prompt you to enter the course in which you will be readmitted to. Then you will complete the rest of the application filling in basic demographic information. Please include the address where it is that you receive your mail. It will also be that address that you will receive your letter of acceptance or denial letter. 
please make sure that you include either your KCTCS email if you are a current student or a home email if you are not a Southeast Kentucky student at the present time. And please include a telephone number so that we may get in touch with you if there are specific questions we have about your application. Continuing with the application process, all high school transcripts or GED as well as all college transcripts are required to be submitted at the time of admission. For those students who are current Southeast Community and Technical College students, you will still be required to submit college transcripts with your nursing application. Completion of NAA 100 must have occurred within the last three years prior to the admission cycle. For example, if you are applying for admission for the spring of 2023, if you had an NAA 100 course prior to spring of 2020, then you would need to retake the course because it has been greater than three years from your admission cycle that you were current with the course. You must provide proof with your application of current SRNA registry if you are on the registry. Now, the application requirements require that you have either taken the course or you are current on the registry. Equivalent courses taken outside of Southeast may also be uh, given admission priority. Exam scores again, either the ACT, the NLN pre-admission PAX test, or the NLN Nursing Acceleration Challenge exam, or the NACE, for those who are currently LPNs. The NLN PAX or NACE exam, you register and test online, and those results must accompany the application. From this website, ondemand.questionmark.com, forward slash home, forward slash 405-669, forward slash user, is where applicants will go to take and purchase exams. So from this screen here, you see under the blue taskbar, create new account. So you will click there to create an account. You are prompted to um, complete a username an email address, and then complete the rest of the information. It makes no difference if you are applying for the Middlesbrough campus, even though here it says Cumberland. Once you have created your account, you go back to the main page and across the blue taskbar, you will click by exam. If you are a student who is taking the PAX exam, you will search on page two until you see pre-admission exam for HyFlex, $55. And this is the exam that you will add to your cart and purchase. For those of you who are currently LPNs and you are applying for the LPN to RN Bridge program and wish to take the NACE exam, you go through the exact same process to create an account to buy the exam and the exam you are searching for is Foundations of Nursing for HyFlex with a cost of $80. You will add to your cart and purchase the exam. For students who are applying for readmission to either the LPN to RN Bridge program, to the LPN program, or to the RN program, you must submit a letter to myself as the program coordinator detailing reasons for your departure from nursing in a detailed action plan for success. This must accompany your application and your file will not be considered without this letter. We will also take time to review attendance, any behavior concerns, and exam scores while you were last enrolled in the program. Applicants will be required to take and score a minimum of 78% 
on the final exam for the last enrolled nursing course prior to being considered for readmission. Application submission is March the 1st for fall admissions and October the 1st for spring admissions. There are no exceptions. Late applicants will not be accepted for any reason. Incomplete files will not be reviewed for admission. Application submission, again, includes any exam scores, whether that's ACT, NACE, or PACS, high school and college transcripts, LPN licensure verification, state registered nurses aid verification, and CPR verification, if you have it, submitted in person or via U.S. Postal Service prior to the submission deadlines from the previous slide to Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College Admissions, attention Shanna Lewis, 700 College Road, Cumberland, Kentucky, 40823. Letters of acceptance or denial will be sent via U.S. Postal Service within three weeks of application deadline. Again, please include on the application the address or P.O. box where you receive your mail. When students have been admitted to the program along with their admission letter, students will receive details regarding a mandatory nursing orientation, including the date, the time, and the location of said orientation. This concludes the pre-admission conference for nursing. If you have specific questions that I have not covered in this presentation, please feel free to contact me at, at any time. Again, my name is Dr. Melissa Humfleet. I'm the Nursing Program Coordinator. I can be reached at area code 606-589-3096 or via email at mhumfleet0003 at kctcs.edu. Good luck with your application process and I look forward to sending you a letter of admission. Thank you.